So I got a question, which is why is the course asking me to forgive thoughts or forgive people or forgive thoughts or forgive anything? Well, you know, like a thought is, is a thing and a person is a thing or an object. Um, feelings are objects. I can, you know, God is a love in which I forgive my guilt. God is a love in which I forgive my thoughts of my mother. God is a love in which I forgive you, whatever it is. God is a love in which I forgive myself. Um, so forgiveness. And now here's the thing with the course. What the, And I, I need to speak on this because I speak to people at different levels of advancement. So... And the course is actually trying to take you from being at a low vibration to the absolute vibration. So the lessons in the start of the course are geared for someone who still believes that they are the body and still believes they are their thoughts and still believes they are separated from the infinite. So you'll get, you can get a lesson early on that would say, I'm just um, uh, like, God is the love in which I forgive. And it sounds like when you say that instruction, like God is the love, who do I? Who do I need to forgive today? Uh, God is a love in which I forgive the tax man. <laughs> God bless them. God is a love in which I forgive the tax man. Okay. So uh, in, in, in the early stages of spiritual development, you really believe that there really is a you that needs to say something. So this is very dualistic in a state of high separation or low consciousness. There really is a me being victimized by the tax man. And me has to do the action of saying the prayer so I can forgive it. So it's very much like there's a me uh, praying to God uh, to help me to forgive the tax man. So that's what I call dualistic. I'm in separation to God and the tax man is in separation to me. And there's some kind of big drama between me and the tax man and I need uh, God. So there's like, there's three points. There's a me, there's a tax man and there's a thing. So it's like it's and then it's like yeah, there's definitely a me and that tax man is definitely a real thing, and I need to pray to God to to forgive. So that's what I call very dualistically. And and when a student is at that level, that is the right thing to do. God is a love in which I forgive because that they feel they they are a separate entity and that's real. The tax man is real. But actually, as you keep doing it, what's happening is you're letting go of all the story uh, that. Uh, like if, if you just let go of the tax man, God is a love which I forgive. Even if you're in a state of um, separation, a state of low consciousness, what happens is the tax man will start to disappear from your consciousness as you forgive him. When you completely forgive him, you forget about him. There's no problem. Or there's just, even if there was a memory of the tax man, there'd just be love and it'd be gone. Uh, it's, it's dissolved. Uh, if you forgive, if you forgive your body and forgive your thoughts, until they cease to exist, then the idea that there's a you that needs to forgive anything will cease to happen. So you're you're actually going, so you can structure a course of 365 lessons to gradually take you from being really believing you are a separate body thoughts that needs to pray to others and uh, uh, pray to, to God because there's all this separation going on. And it's, you eventually that's dissolving as you keep doing the Course in Miracles. Then it might say something like, you are spirit, I am spirit. You know, there's nothing else. There isn't a you, there isn't a body, you're not the body, you're not the thoughts. The Course says uh, you're not the body, you're free for you as God created you, and that's not being limited or an object or a body or thoughts. So, um, I, um, so, and then um, once that starts, you feel the spirit, and if the spirit is infinite and timeless and limitless and eternal, then, you know, it, what will happen then is there's... Um, if there's anything left, it's not it's not like there's anybody saying it or any thinker saying it. These things may just automatically happen out of nothing until the last remnants of the ego dissolved. And when one is pure spirit, there is nothing else to do. There is no you uh, that needs to that is seeing a tax man in separation that needs to pray because that, that's all gone now. So that that ceases to be the experience, not an intellectual construct. Okay, so <clears throat> so it's just to. Um, also something I think which is you, you know you, you just um, no I, I might get uh, okay. I do recommend the Course in Miracles if you're in any kind of trouble and doing the daily lessons one after the other but uh, once you get to I think this is the best way to say it, once you get to very advanced levels you know um, you might just pick and choose which lessons you, you uh, are, are the ones that are resonating um, you know like if it's too dualistic or you I mean, if you can't see an accountant, you're not going to say, God is a love in which I forgive the accountant. 
and if there's no if you're not a you then you're not you're not it's not going to resonate something else may resonate you know like um i'm spirit or something or um or or, or a saying from a teacher like saint francis you know what i'm looking for is where i'm looking from just a, a reminder statement that you, you're none of this stuff so um so it's one of the things I, I think my videos are probably very confusing because I'm speaking at different levels. I'm speaking as if people believe they're real. And sometimes I'm speaking as if uh, I'm speaking to people who don't believe they are uh, their bodies or their thoughts. So speak, the answers are very different. And uh, the course you've got to realize is sometimes speaking to you as if you really believe you're the body and the thoughts. And sometimes it's trying to make affirmations that you've now passed those exact past those ideas that you ever the body of thoughts and now it's the next level up you see so that all sounds very idealistic but that's the thing of you know when you read something or hear a teacher or have a course they're speaking to you at different levels of spiritual evolution that's why they don't at one level speak uh, what makes sense at one level when you believe you're the ego body won't make sense when you when your experience is you're the infinite like uh, if I say to someone who's in an infinite state, uh, your body looks a bit tight today, I mean, they'll probably say, what body? Uh, uh, and, you know, it's like it's like you said to them, like that chair looks knackered. I mean, what's that got to do with anything? Uh, you know, it's not what they are. So th that's the thing of speaking. Uh, and I say, you know, teachers usually intuitively speak to students at different levels and because the, the teacher can anyway. Uh, not that there is such a thing as a teacher and student, but um, you have to use languaging. So, um, yeah, I'll stop there.